Hello students, now we will learn about inflorescence and types of inflorescence. So what is meant by inflorescence? Inflorescence means arrangement of flowers or florets on the main floral axis is called as inflorescence. So arrangement of flowers on floral axis. Here floral axis is given one term called as peduncle is called inflorescence. We have seen in case of flower this is stalk that we hold a flower and here will be the sepals, here will be the petals, stamens and gynosium here. Here we are telling this stalk like structure which we are holding the flower as pedicel. But in case of inflorescence, there is one long axis, floral axis on which flowers are attached. But suppose if this is the long structure on which flowers are attached, then we call this one as peduncle. Means the structure on which one floor, flower is attached is called pedicel. Many flowers which are attached on an axis, that axis is called as peduncle. Based on <coughs> whether the apex is terminated with a flower or whether it is growing continuously, there are two types of inflorescence. Racemose inflorescence, cymose inflorescence. Other type of inflorescence is there, that is special type of inflorescence. But based on whether the apex or apical part of peduncle or the floral axis is terminating with a flower or not terminating with a flower and growing continuously, there are two types of inflorescence. Based on whether apex of peduncle is terminating with a flower or whether apex of peduncle is growing continuously there are two types of inflorescence One is racemos inflorescence Second one cymos inflorescence There are other types of inflorescence which is not based on terminating of the apex with the flower or not the third one is special type of inflorescence. First one we will see about racemos inflorescence. Here main axis, main floral axis or peduncle. never terminates with the flower. Means there will be no flower at the tip in case of racemos inflorescence. Yeah. Next. Main axis, it grows continuously. Main floral axis or peduncle grows continuously. This main floral axis in case of racemos inflorescence, it is directly giving a rise to the buds or flowers or the lateral branches. Peduncle here in case of racemos inflorescence is considered as the main axis and the lateral one will be considered as the subordinate branches. 
since here main axis is taking a role in handling all these structures it is called as monopodial branching the later arranged developed buds or flowers or branches are subordinate to the main axis so here in case of racemous inflorescence racemous inflorescence is said to be having monopodial branching what type of branches are present in racemous inflorescence means the main axis is taking key role it is not terminating with a flower and whatever the lateral arranged or developed buds or branches or flowers are considered to be next priority to the main axis such type of branching is called as monopodial branching so next in case of racemous inflorescence the first developed or the older branches or flowers are at the base the young ones are at the tip region the later developed branches or flowers are at the base and young ones are at apex tip means not at the complete this end this is not having any type of flower in case of racemous inflorescence at the upper part near to the tip such type of arrangement is called as acropetal arrangement or acropetal uh, racemous type of inflorescence such type of arrangement is called acropetal manner coming to the structure in case of racemous inflorescence if this is peduncle or the main floral axis it is not terminating with any flower older flowers are at bottom and young flowers or young branches are at upper side near to the tip region so we can say older flowers at bottom young ones or newly developed ones young flowers at top region such type of arrangement is called acropetal manner of arrangement of flowers or branches next cymose inflorescence in case of cymose inflorescence main axis always terminates with a flower here will be one flower in case of cymose inflorescence main axis always terminates with a flower next main axis in case of cymose inflorescence it grows up to one certain length and it stops growing then it gives a rise to branches flowers are developed on the lateral branches now lateral branch is considered as the main axis such type of arrangement or branching is called as sympodial branching main floral axis or peduncle or stem grows up to certain length and stops its further growth 
the lateral branches will take main role in giving out flowers such branching is called sympodial branching for suppose if this is the stem grown it is terminating with a flower next it is stopping its growth next it is giving arise to another lateral branch it is giving arise to another flower this branch also stopped growing it gave arise to another branch now it is giving arise to another flower like this the development will be continued so such type of branching is called sympodial branching next older flowers are at apex or tip of peduncle and young flowers are at the base such type of arrangement of flowers is called basi petal manner such arrangement is called basi petal manner it means if this is the peduncle it got terminated with a flower young buds will be at the bottom region so this is called basi petal type of arrangement so this is about cymose inflorescences under special type of inflorescences there are three other types under special type of inflorescences we will read about hypanthodium inflorescences first one second one cyathium inflorescences third one verticillaster type of inflorescences so these are the three types of inflorescences under special type of inflorescences but based on whether the apex is terminating with the flower or not we have two types that is racemos and cymos type of inflorescences